Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see, this should be working now. Messages sent out to everybody. Happy summer, everyone. All right, so. Welcome to my PlayStation 4. The superior PlayStation, because it actually has good games on it. <laughs> PlayStation 3 has some good games on it, too. I don't know about the PlayStation 5. I haven't seen any games that have come out exclusively on that that's worth purchasing it. So, yeah. I don't know why this is here. Remote play. The fuck is that? Indies. No, thanks. Just waiting for anybody to come on to stream. Oh, my nose is twitching. Pardon me for a second. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Need to clear out my nose. Alright, anyway, hello everybody! <clears throat> I'm Tabarpa. In case that was not Tabaver, it's Tab Tabar Aviat. I'm gonna restart. Hello everyone! Tabarpa here. Welcome to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. My first impression of the game. Uh, this game was made by the same people who made. Uh, Odin Sphere, and Dragon's Crown, and I don't remember what the game is called, but I own it. Uh, I'll figure out what it is later. Uh, but yeah, they made a few games that I really like, so hopefully this one will be really good too. I like them because they're pretty. Anyway. Ah, VGY is in the chat. Hey, VGY. We tabbed out mostly for a bit, but and here and listening. Okay, good for you. All right. Well, anyways, let's uh, dive into the game and uh, see what's happening. Begin. And thus the game begins. Atlas, get your maps here. Base escape. And vanilla wear. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm staring at that ass. Oh, guy turned at us. <laughs> 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Are there 13 people here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14! The title is a lie! There's also a cat there. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I don't really know much about this game, other than, uh... You're a bunch of school kids in giant robots. So, you know, typical anime. <laughs> Still staring at that ass. Anyway, moving on. Begin. Please select an audio language. Well, I'm gonna select English because I want to understand what's being said. I repeat. Oh, the English language is so terrible. It should be in original Japanese because blah. A large unidentified object has crashed Sorry. in the city. I, I hold issue with people who are like subs over dubs, and I'm like, I like dubs though. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Man, fuck the police! <laughs> the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Shouldn't we be running? Hello? Um... What the fuck? What? Okay, so apparently stroking women's thighs summons giant robots. 
I mean, I do that all day. Just <laughs> summon as many giant robots as possible, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. I'm stupid. Anyway, it's an interesting looking robot. It's really happening. Oh, shit. Just as you said. Who said? A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. Godzilla! We will do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Or more like Pacific Rim. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Was it? I find that hard to believe. Playtime in the autosave slot is longer than playtime in the current save session. Are you sure you want to, to autosave? Yes. Doi? Sometimes you get some really awful voice acting. Sometimes. Okay. Am I inside the robot? What the? Where did my clothes go? Naked women inside giant robots. Dreams do come true. <laughs> what is that? My voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Okay. Well, I, it's coming this way! I could not tell what that was. Oh, how do I move this thing? Do we at least get to see what we're fighting? Please don't use Japanese honorifics and English voice acting. It sounds so dumb. Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? We can discuss that later. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. <laughs> oh shit! The D is gonna get us. <laughs> but I don't know how to control any of this. I, I'm trying to absorb this game while also making commentary. Forgive me if it sounds a little weird. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Tutorial mode. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. That makes more sense than the usual mecha you can do it. controlling oh, thing. This? Mm -hmm. Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nano machines inside your brain. We put Which robots in your brain. Don't worry, we're totally not controlling you. <laughs> it should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Can you move? Y yes, I can walk, Senpai. They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. Oh. That's your equipment interface. Yeah, I, I get those when I go on online when I go online too. Too many pop-ups. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Tutorial attack. To control your pilots, move the cursor over the pilot and select with X. This is random, you streaming in the middle of the day, just got back from getting my first COVID shot. Oh nice. Also hi, Nevitz Gilbert. But yeah, I decided to uh, do it early. I was just gonna record it and then do like snippets of my impressions and everything, but I thought, eh, people will like it when I stream, so why not? Open the menu. Once the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh, neat. You can see the little animation there on the side. The rocket launchers. Sentry gun. Uh, I can just warp in sentry guns? Neat. So, it, so do, my shots just go this far away? Like, any building in the way is just gonna get leveled because I shot in that direction? Worker. They're unionizing. <laughs> the workers are unionizing. A Deimos. Alright, shoot him. Do I not to get to look at the things I'm shooting at? Slow down. Different combat situations. 
situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rocket launcher the button. On your shoulders. Focus on them. Select action, destroy the enemy using multi rocket launchers. Adjust the attack range with L to target as many enemies as possible. What do I do? Rocket launcher and You know, I I hope there's not a lot of civilians in this heavily populated area who are the kaiju are, because I'm about to just wipe them all off, off the map, I guess. Oh, uh, Nevitz Gilbert. Uh, the game is called 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Anyway. And everyone died! Where came from? Behind! Oh shit, she's taking it from behind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, anyway. Sup! Sentinel number 13, activated. Ah. 13 sentinels. Sentinel's been transmitted behind you for you, Sakakun. But who is it? This is Sentinel number 13. Moving to cover for you, Sakasan. Karabe. I don't listen to you. <laughs> hey, Knucklehead Tori. New game. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to have a first impressions of this. I've been looking forward to playing this for a while, and... I bought it because it was, uh... They were kind of running out of copies of it on Amazon, so I'm like, I better get this now before it, uh... Before it goes out. Don't worry, none of those civilians are main characters. <laughs> Heavy knuckles, huh? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna be punching it. I really wish you could zoom in on those pictures of the kaiju. They look like machines rather than kaiju, though. At least from what I can tell. The G-Molar. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see these. The things I'm fighting. Because I like looking at the different kind of art styles of things. But, oh well. I'm gonna give it a back attack! <laughs> Damn! He punched the thing! Oh man, he moved the robot and punched with it. What an amazing pilot. I mean, the other one launched missiles and rocket launchers, but punching though. Shit. <laughs> me? Oh, hi, me. Juro Karabe's story is now available. That's how you solve all world problems. You punch them. Apparently. Alright, so I uh, guess this is my only option. What's the menu? Oh, I can save my game. Nice. Alrighty. Begin. Okay. Sup, I'm a pretty boy. 
1985? Oh, wow, okay. The year is 1985. can control ourselves. Oh, <laughs> I'm coasting through the desks and the people. Oh, oh, that's how I run. Woo! Gotta go fast! Uh, there's, uh, sup, Shiba? What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like I'm not a real oh, person. Something's off. <laughs> what the? Like I live in an anime Going world. Yeah, no, I feel that way going to school all the time. <laughs> it's like I'm not supposed to be here. Almost like I don't wanna. <laughs> Let's see, thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the thought cloud and select to selected couplet couplet uh, keywords. Let's consider Shiba. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. So he's a joke to you then. <laughs> Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. It was horribly pixelated. Already? I couldn't I see the porn see at all. <laughs> you wasted no time. <laughs> Can you play me? Giant robots fights in the city. I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I too enjoy kaiju movies. You sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? And giant robots. Chicks dig them. Uh, anyways, some keywords. Videotape. Oh, <laughs> I'm just holding the tape. Ah, VHS tapes. The nostalgia. Still have a few of those. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, that, yeah. I think I've seen a movie that's about that. That's not what a movie buff is, buddy. I think, you, I think you need to relearn what movie buffs are. Shall we go home, oh. Sammy chan Uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me guess. The worst they can say is no, what she says. Ew. <laughs> Okay, she's just saying the same thing. I mean, it is a guy, but sounds asleep again. School's up. Wake the fuck up, woman. <laughs> Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. All right, I'm going to look at chat quick here. I can relate to that. I remember going to my old school to eat at the cafe. They kicked me out because I graduated eight years ago. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of your own fault. VHS, when does this take place? I said earlier it's 1985. This is back in the 80s. She always 
seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. It's odd and to she sleep. Shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. So, uh. Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh man, that one video? About the other day. Really? Yep. Gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I gotta book it. It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That one video. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Ah, uh, yes. We could go to the Blockbuster. I don't know if they had Blockbuster in the 80s. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't bored until 1989, so... I don't know what 1985 had too much of. You Still talking? Your turn met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. <laughs> Deep breaths, Miwako. Eh. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, Sleepy Booty. Come on, up, up, up. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. I was stroking my thigh and summoning giant robots. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Called the whole comment you're supposed to read it. Wait, what? Oh, I did read the whole thing, I just didn't read it all out all, all loud. <laughs> By the way, I do have a question. What kind of horrific school only lets out at sunset? Seriously, look outside. That's clearly sunset. Why would school end at sunset? I don't care what time of the year it is. Sunset earliest happens like at 4 to 5 o'clock. What monsters will have school until that late? Anyway. What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Uh, this sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. And there she goes. I should get going too. <sighs> Fine. Guess single girls walk home alone. <laughs> Aww. He's a little background voice. What? Everyone's I know, I shouldn't tease dreams. you like that. But it's your fault for really keeping secrets from me. Maybe I should join a club too. But seriously, Mommy Gucci. Go ah. We gotta catch that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. 
So wait, he has the latest video games in 1985. So what, he's got Nintendo? <laughs> Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He got that Nintendo. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. <laughs> yep, Nintendo, <laughs> 1985. Like, that's not as impressive sounding saying it that way from in 1985, buddy. It's not. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. Nineteen eighty five, well the Disney film that came out that year was Black Cauldron, so you make of that what you will. I don't know, maybe it's winter here in Canada, it becomes dark like pitch dark around four o'clock, not sure about Japan. Yeah, but that's in winter. There are still leaves on the trees here. to get out of school at like 3.30 if you had detention or school club keeping you later, class to like 4.30. Yeah, but this seems like right after class is out. Nineteen eighty-five, Legend of Zelda didn't even exist yet. Nope, still four more years. You know, Amiguchi kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Oh. Kurabi-kun? Hey, Kurabi-kun? Yes? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Okay. Is this it? I yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Okay. Oh, damn. She got them thighs to save all the lives. Damn. Just damn. Sorry. I can't. I got the stack of papers. papers. <laughs> I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Okay, you do that. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. All right, anything else going on around here? <coughs> oh, boss fight. Any other convos I should know about? Exit classroom? No, not without the bag. Got it. I got the bag. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Why would I do that? Fast forwarding will automatically pause on, on red text. Press square to view the text log. There's options to pause menu, just select menu, manual to view controls. Okay. Well, anyway. Here we go! Okay, I guess our only way to go is the nurse's office. And thank you, BGY. Okay, blow my nose pick here. <laughs> oh. Oh, dang allergies. I don't know if that's that or just the dust in my room, but anyways. Nurse's office. Hello, nurse. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. This room is green. Well, I guess I'll leave then. Well, let me leave. I'll just leave it on the desk then. What should I do with these papers? Leave them on the desk. 
Can I just leave them here? Yes, that's <clears throat> what you should be able to. There's oh. a document with my picture on it. Oh man! What is this? Could be the nurse records or school records for health, because this is a nursing o nurse's office. Honestly, makes sense. I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? That's not my name. It's my photo, but I have a brother. My last name is wrong. A twain. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms: psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? I knew it. The government is vaccinating us all. <laughs> oh, Karabekun. Hello, nurse. Hi. <laughs> So yeah, I was feeling a bit tired. Mind if I uh, rest on some pillows? I see you have a comfortable pair right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, anyway. Hello, nurse. What brings you here? I mean, stack of papers? I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabekun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Thanks. shiba -kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, I can move. <laughs> Did I unlock anything from her? That movie's a hidden gem. Okay, I've already... Oh, one more thing. Oh. Karabekun. Yes? How is your current condition? Condition? My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? Headaches? <laughs> she, she just shoved him right in my face. <laughs> There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine, really. I see. If you'll excuse me. That's some nice character design. Anyway. Yes, that nurse is worth saying hello to. <laughs> hey, can't show me rocks. Anyway. So we don't have any more thoughts on that. Whoa! Wow, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Why would he be well, here? That's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Okay. <sighs> can I do anything other than just talk to you? No. Across the street? No. Fine. Something wrong? Mm, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. Oh man, it's like a day. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. <laughs> it's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey. I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Dimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Mighty Kaiju Dimos. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. 
the first in what would become a long-running series. From the 50s, eh? <sighs> I'll pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Yuki <laughs> 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 and Naba sure is popular these days. Right? I even see her in TV commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Hey, aren't we going home? Wrong way, man. I'm looking around. It's a JRPG, buddy. I like to explore Come everything on, and Let's all of my on. options. Let's see, what does the chat say? If I'm going to be extremely busy until Friday. Oh, that sucks, man. It's like Olivia from Awakening became a doctor and stole Camilla from Fate's boobs. What? I'm gonna have to look in on some of this. I'll work no play makes can't show me rocks at all, boy. The voice actor for the MC sounds so overdramatic. Overdramatic? He sounds tired. <laughs> like, just quiet. Why does it sound like he's constantly depressed? I don't think he sounds depressed. Just kind of... Like I said, kind of tired and just quiet. Anyway, let's go. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Aracoon? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Uh. Sup? The Aracoon. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. I just have bandages on his legs. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Ah! Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hands. I've light contracted up. the disease. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number thirteen. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Way to sound bored about it, buddy. He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot. What are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? How, why do you think I, he did it? Damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Wait, what? Well, this will be interesting. Are you? I'm sorry, what's going on here? Me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? <laughs> it's all a conspiracy! <laughs> It's all a damn conspiracy. It's 1985 and that guy has a JoJo hat. <laughs> I mean, where do you think JoJo's hat came from, buddy? Came from the 80s uniforms. <laughs> Put that thing back where it came from, also help me. Mystery files obtained. And archives obtained. I, I don't know what those are, but okay. Oh, well, I guess we're... I guess we're following somebody else's story now. Uh, I can't switch, I guess. I guess we'll save. Save. 
So your best friend is actually, uh... A guy controlling you with, uh... To keep you... <laughs> I don't know, something or another. I don't know, it's one of those weird conspiracy anime things. Where it's like, everyone you know is simply an agent to keep you from achieving your real destiny. Like, I don't know. It sounds stupid. I like it, though. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Sup? Heading to school. Oh my gosh! It's got the whole toaster in that thing! Oh my gosh! Let me guess, she bumps into somebody and drops the toast. Girl, you look fine. Almost there. And bump. Yep, I knew it. Oh, panic shot. Hey, you all right? Ah. That's a yes. <laughs> Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Whoa, boss me. Lula. Anyway. Oh no. It's a morning assembly. Ah. An uncanny resemblance. Well, anyway. Huh? Oh. Did she drop this? See that a cat over ID. there. First year. Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Hmm. More conspiracy. She's a sweet. <laughs> Sup there, thick thighs. Uh, and good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. You are sound asleep. Class is over. The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. Duh. <laughs> I like her hair. Tomi Kisaragi. Hello, Tomi. Oh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? All right, let's uh check out the chat here. Uh, let's see. I don't know. All I know is I remember when Three Houses was shown off and they showed Dorothea and everyone in the comments was like, she has a JoJo hat. Well, yeah. <laughs> Again, that hat comes from uh, student uh, uniforms from this time period. So, yeah. Guns don't kill people. The government does. <laughs> Look at this game, it reminds me of Digimon Survive, which makes me sad because we still don't have a Digi have Digimon Survive. Yeah, it could... Sadly, it could not Digimon Survive. Ha <laughs> ha! Wordplay. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <sighs> oh. Excuse me. Okay. Miwa chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind. She got them thighs. She's talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Seriously, look at this girl. She's thick as fuck. Can I go over here? Go over here. Go over there. Okay. Nice to meet ya. you. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. All right, let's see here. Usami Consider. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. You're the one sleeping in class. I don't think you can talk about someone else being weird. 
Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. It's kind of far away, though. Huh. So I don't come from this world. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. <laughs> I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Yeah. Boys, am I right? <laughs> I know of them. <laughs> Wonderful pillow with eyes. Exactly. Paul World? I'll have to look that up. Not right now, though. You sure yawn a lot. I was just Are asleep. You a night owl? Not really. It's just I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the deck. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. That lasted all day. The rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh. The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Also, I'm pretty sure he saw my underwear. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? <laughs> Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. I mean, she did have toast in her mouth. Um, you think so? <laughs> Maybe. I have strange dreams too, like that time I dreamt I was eating my own pillow, and then I woke up and I was eating my own pillow. <laughs> Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Oh, um, she's a gossiper. You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I'm down for some crap. <laughs> oh, wait, is there... Ah, cute guy. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from it a different school. It looked like your uniform. It didn't look that different. Oh. Did you break the door down? The door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. I figured it was just the 80s aesthetic. <laughs> I guess the 80s aren't as old as I thought they were. <laughs> it's Pokemon Digimon, but with guns. That sounds awesome. Of course, Digimon has guns too. It has a rabbit with guns. <laughs> guns for arms. Isn't your class next door, Notchan? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm not to know Minami. Nice to meet you. Let's see. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. 
but I heard construction was delayed. Something about giant robots. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Oh damn. Wait, over 40? Wasn't the war in the 40s? Minami-san. Oh. There you are. Busted. Hi. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? Talking with friends. I told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? It's just I saw it. Really? Next good. class. Is it always I'll sundown here? Room. Minami san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. You can't talk with friends. Uh, you have to follow the rules. That's the impression I get from that girl. I think we already looked at that. Okay. It has black ah. fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? I think I saw it outside the school the building. Dang. <laughs> Dang! Game takes place in the 80s, right? Yep, 1985. Did her some good. Dang. <laughs> Break time. Why does it always look like sundown? Oh, hey, cat. I don't see it anymore. <laughs> it's right there. Where could it be? We could turn around. Oh. oh. And then it runs away. Closer. Let's see. Oh, no. No options yet. Oh, no. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. Oh, so that's Amiguchi. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Why am I blushing? Listen, okay? Why are you blushing? Me too. What the fuck? I feel it, right? I want to pursue this with you. Uh. Please. Uh. I don't know. It's just. Huh. Fuyasaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I. Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you like <laughs> it, it's okay. Let me guess, it's not what, what? that suggests. Don't mind me. Bye. Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> 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 me and this guy dating? <laughs> In the eighties? Please. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was great. Uh, yeah, that means all the characters are of legal age this year, and I have lost after them as much as I want. Pretty sure they're old enough to be your parents by now, buddy. Seen places in games where it's permanently night. Maybe it's like that. Magic. What well, seems to be a sci-fi setting. Sci-fi in the 80s. It's sci-fi in the past. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. <laughs> So, you guys know each other? She sits in front of me in class. Yeah. Okay, start the conversation with strange dreams then. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. 
The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Hmm. Sounds similar. <laughs> she was really progressive for a Japanese girl in the 80s. Gotta respect that. Yeah. This is true. Anything over here? No? Okay. Well, Karabe? Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? <laughs> if not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Everything will burn to the ground. Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Whenever I think my heart's... It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Okay, I guess there was still some stuff to look at with that. That's why it was lit up in the corner. Well, anyway. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... <clears throat> Class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. That's her cleared prologue? Okay, nothing much happened with her. Progress, 14%. Huh. Alright. Uh... What? Quick, warn everybody about COVID. They wouldn't believe you. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I got in this robot and. So is this the dream or? Oh good. Looks like you're okay. Kurabikun. This is the continuation of what we did. Fuck do you know that? With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? Daimos. They're the kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The deep forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. We are very much out of chronological How order. Activated? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D Force's invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. Okay. Stay calm. What can I do? Focus. It's the okay. exact same robot. Gotta think. Yeah, oh, excuse me. I just joined the stream. What type of game are you playing? Uh, this is 
13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. I think it's kind of a tactics game. Number 13, moving out. Focus. I guess she can move now. Number 15, moving out. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. Damage to the terminal is shown in the top left screen, okay? If this uh, defense gauge is depleted or if even one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Switching pilots. You can switch the pilots you control with that. Uh, change of pilots depending on the situation. Alright. Wipe them out. That hit. They're down. We can do this. Right? Let's see. Would you be able to reach over here? Yes. Please hit. How's that? I did it? They did. Gotta wait for them to finish. Start up there. Here we go. Heavy knuckle. Go punch it! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Oh. Pulse. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you Oh my gosh. He cut off his comms. I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'm gonna save the human race. To rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. I know that because magic. Victory! Okay. <laughs> oh, great, this guy. I'm gonna save the human race! Alright. Love the style of this game. Yep, I always enjoy uh, Vanillaware's games. 1944? Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Girl in pants? What is this? <laughs> in the That's 40s? Weird. Blasphemy. Changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. You sound a lot older than you look. Carry your son. Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military. 
military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you are the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. What? Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time believing, uh... Believing 1940s Japan had Sentinels. Is that why we nuked them to get them to stop built using the robots? <laughs> She says she... Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Well, really going really far into the past. VHS tapes didn't even exist yet. <laughs> what a twist! So let's talk to her normally. What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. What are you talking? What happened? That's about. Okay. If you're not the real Kiriko, then, then who? Got are those you? eyebrows, man. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe. This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I, uh, <sighs> Gee, just call me out, why don't you? <laughs> That's me, I was playing Civ 6 the other day. Had giant death robots by the 1940s. <laughs> I've done that before. It's time for World War II. Behold, giant death robots. Don't you know the pyramids? They were made by aliens, man. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. Oh man, he's a simp. <laughs> There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. <clears throat> What happened? Examine the bush. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. 
No one will see me in my bright white uniform. Hello there. Kisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Hello. Up. There's nowhere to run. Suspicious man. Sir Doji led the Sentinel project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? Uh-huh. It's not. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. I see spy! What are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. Some what? Penny dreadful? I don't think I've ever heard that term before. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing then. It was actually a man. Oh my gosh, it is a man! <laughs> For his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that. <laughs> you were just trying to confuse me. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I love a man. <laughs> this is the 40s. That's not allowed. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> He's just playing games with me. Time trap. This is. So can I talk to him? There's no point explaining myself to you. Oh, well, then I'll just ask you this way. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. <laughs> Escaped from here into the future. Still contemplating the fact that I may have fallen in love with a man. <laughs> My 1940s brain can't handle this. <laughs> for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, bye. <laughs> time goes by so slowly. Time goes by so slowly. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching his <laughs> Oh my gosh, those pompadours. His pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, 
all day. What? <laughs> Yucky soba pawn. <laughs> Loves bread. <laughs> Gotta love this sandwich. <laughs> like a man as a man in the 1940s? That's against the rules, is it? Screw the rules, I have the gay. <laughs> Not what I clicked on. There. What? Whoops. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. Oh my gosh. So I nudged I don't you. Have money, if that's what you're after. Well, bye. <laughs> I said hold it. Ugh, what do you want? You're so dumb looking. I still you want to talk? No? Fine. Wait, Wajimasan. I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Jacket snatcher. Wait. Yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Oh, bye. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on. <laughs> My bread! No! Yaki soba pot. I didn't even get a single bite! Well, you're a dead man. <laughs> you just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. <laughs> Violence! So much violence! Ha! Stop! We're sorry! Man, did you grow up in a war or something? <laughs> I've got no mercy for people who waste food. <laughs> Especially Yaki <Yaki's> Soto. <laughs> what the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone wanna tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. I didn't. <laughs> they decided to take my bread. Wait, and I took you. issue with that. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Oh my gosh, grow up. Uh. Come at me. <laughs> you took down five guys at once. <laughs> Clearly, I could take you. Wait a second. What the? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. 
And that face. Wait! Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! More violence! Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. So, do I... Ah, here we go. Looks like it's locked. Okay. Can I go in through the window? Up. Guess you found me. <laughs> Just find this interesting. Kiriko san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I I know who you are under those clothes. <laughs> I figured you'd be here soon, so got some breakfast for you too half a year I've been searching for you half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face I got you some yaki soba pan <laughs> you didn't get any yesterday right you got yaki soba pan for me <laughs> calmed him down instantly hey, look, that, that's not the point <laughs> Oh man, the Yaki Soba Pond. I need it. I want it. <laughs> Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? <laughs> Why don't you find out? <laughs> It's a trap! <laughs> just Admiral <laughs> Admiral Akbar just like it's a trap <laughs> Oh, I'm enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Haven't really played much gameplay yet, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat? You having a good time? Chat's been mostly quiet, so... <laughs> oh, excuse me. You guys having about as much fun as I am? I hope so. I was a little worried that this game wouldn't be uh wouldn't be as enjoyable as some of the others, but I'm again having a really good time. One second, I need to go get some more water.
came back. Seems interesting, yeah? Yeah, I like it. It's amusing, probably not a lot of chat because, you know, middle of the day. I'm only here because COVID shot and I'm able to show up around this time for the next few days because COVID shot, not really wise for me to work with this arm. Yeah, that's fair. This can't be true. Was the Kiriko Doji I knew this Sukat Professor Doji is doc what does it mean? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Did all for the Sentinels. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself. Oh, wait. Already got that. Is she serious? Is she no. Go ahead. Uh, well. So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. <laughs> oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. I can smell the gay on you for miles. <laughs> Let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. What? So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Giant monsters. Never mind. I have to get back no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So, you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's oh, that's that vague. sound? <laughs> Anything. <I want. laughs> no, I. <laughs> what I want is to go back to my own time. <laughs> If you're sure.
just got here. Choose an interesting game to show up to. I'm confused but intrigued. Thanks, Creative Mia. I'm really enjoying this game. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawn's on the desk inside. <laughs> My yakisoba pawn. <laughs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. <laughs> I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. Fine. Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. <laughs> trust much in this post-war world but if there's one exception it's my yakisoba pawn oh, sorry about that had to blow my nose for a second Noodles oh wait but if love how much this guy loves his yakisoba pawn where do you go now Maybe he really was just manipulating me. I mean, well, said they were going to soba pond. Hope it's cool. Not much I could do. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Well, as long as I've got it. Um. <laughs> the sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. <laughs> mm. I hit the spot. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I mean, he's... I might they well said... My old school. They said they were there. To be continued. Mystery files obtained. Three. I don't know what these are. Oh. Third wave. This is all the tutorial, huh? Alright. Let's get waving. Wow. Oh. My nose is just... Not great today. Uh... That war's been over for decades, Hijiyama-kun. You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? <laughs> ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Buddy, unfortunately... you gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G molars in the back. You see them? Shamolar? Is that what you call the big round ones? Shamolar. No, G molar. As in with the letter G? It stands for you know what? Never mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy, and we need to stop them. A slowpoke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Okay. 
Uh... So anyways, as I was gonna say earlier, uh... Knowing what I know of what uh, Japan did during the, uh, the World War, I mean, yeah, America did some shit too, but... Looking at Korea and some of the other, uh, East Coast locations by Japan during the World War II, I can't really say I'm on this guy's side with the whole, you know, role in the war, so... <laughs> Yeah, kind of hope he doesn't get to take that back with him. <laughs> my allergies are really kicking my butt here. It's weird because I haven't had them for several days and they just today decide to start flaring up I guess. Well, I took some allergy medicine, so hopefully that'll help. Powerful armaments will consume energy. EP is gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend. When you use defend, you'll be able... You'll be unable to move temporarily. Make use of it... Excuse me. Strategically. Kaijus? Yep. We're fighting kaijus with giant robots. I wonder if Hitler existed in this timeline. Was Hitler in on the giant robots? <laughs> Who knows? Try using the armament leap attack. Battle stopped! I guess life comes at you fast. The practice round's over. Huh. It's an interesting looking robot. The head is like way back there on it on the between the shoulders anyway wait what does the leap attack look like huh neat jump aha go down, which is weird. Rush attack. I like the little animations there on the side. Tackle might actually do more here. I deny you! How's that? <laughs> I deny you! Sit down. Number twelve moving out. I swear, what you're just a machine destroyed. Here it comes. Woo! Number twelve with an enemy threat range. I'll make it work. There we go. The practice round's over. Alright, we'll try rush attack again. Only uh, this direct Come on, I need it. Ah one sec. There. I missed several. The fuck? Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Well, this is the tutorial level. They're finished. How's that? There we go. What next? Here it comes. Dead. 
He's just destroying buildings. I'm acting like an amateur. I deny you. I'll find it. I deny you. Dead. Try again. Oh, there's more of them. More enemies. Is there? <laughs> oh. Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. <laughs> what are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Kijiyamakun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Did you just reference After Earth? Uh, what'd I say? <laughs> I, I don't remember what I said to... It's a reference After Earth. Let's see. Meta skills. By gathering meta chips from defeated enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen will increase. You can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with... Triangle and use a Metaskill Plasma Phase Plasma EMP. I guess these goons don't like me. Here we go. Yeah. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. <laughs> Denied sit down. Ah, yes. Yes, I did say that. That was a reference to that. Only meta skill you can currently use in battle is phase plasma EMP. You can only use it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses. Alright. What next? Attack! Yes! I'm an easy target like this. I'll make it work. Let's see. Power 80 times 4. I mean... I deny you! I deny you! How is that an amateur, asshole? Number 12, moving out. The practice round's over. You sure about that? Number 12, moving out. I'll make it work. Another yeah, rush attack. Yeah! yeah! Did it. Oh, come on! Oh. Okay. I do magic. Weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Oh. Sentinels are being activated oh. in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many sentinels? 
calls are online now. Why would you not know this? So we made it through. Alright. We did it! Now who? Oh yeah! We got the girl with the butt. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah! This game knows what I like. <laughs> Alright. Sup? How's it going? Oh. Minami-san. Hey. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball <laughs> game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a recording of it. Oh, uh, the 80s. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. You're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this. Oh, it's E.T. It's a real 1982 classic. <laughs> They're just talking about E.T. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's nice. You'd be the same if you watch this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Oh man, you're right. <laughs> a classic sci fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. Three times, what is it, Frozen or Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire, those are the only movies that I can think of that I saw in theaters three or more times. Oh, really? I usually only see movies in theaters twice, and only if they're really good. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked! Everyone's already there. Gonna pop I in my headphones, turn off all the lights... Yuki-chan! Oh, this looks like a tough girl. Oh. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? 
Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? She got that midriff. But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore? You've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? Never. <laughs> Whatever you say. You never outgrow your it nicknames. Isn't Takamiya. Oh, hey. Oh, God. It's the guy who got his ass kicked. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Says the oh, guy who's crouched over like job. that. Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Fuck you. Chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Look at that confident stride. Anything else? No? Alright. Head back. Up to school. Okay. Splash it into water. <laughs> today running against it and all you know how it is <laughs> hey first year hey old person what's up what's up senpai me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher there's things to discuss about the next meet sorry but could you handle the cleanup today okay Fine, I get. Oh. Where did everybody go? She vanished. Am I the only one still here? Oh. Hmm? Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard, too. I wonder what they're doing here. Here comes the man Seems in like black. They're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <laughs> That movie's not out yet. Wait a minute. Could they really be oh. men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. I don't think that movie's out yet. Maybe. There's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa. Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Alien school! <laughs> oh, I can't leave. Alright, time to clean up. 
better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Because we can't we afford janitors, I guess. Okay, let's do this. And Black came out in 1997. Yeah, but this is the 1980s. <sighs> Finally done. Huzzah. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Hmm. Can I interact with anything? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. What was that? <laughs> I was gonna say, uh. <laughs> It's always been strange men in black spotted near UFO sightings even before the movie. Yes, this is true. Like it was based off comic from 1990, so no men in black shouldn't be out yet. Yeah, but uh, men in black stuff I know has been around for a while. Anywho. Is there a cat in here? Something's in there. What the? Uh, wait. Uh, what if that's not a cat? What's going on? Is there a pervert in here? <laughs> Don't just walk into a girl's changing room, you dumbass. Still totally dressed. <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girl's locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. <laughs> Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing him everywhere. So uh, I thought. You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn. Try to do something nice around here. Sure. Sure, you were. Sure. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> Wild. Okay. BJ. Oh, it's BJ. No way. It talks. Oh man. This is just like the movies. <laughs> I mean, this is actually a. Uh... This is how, you know, people would react to something like this. No way. Okay, it's just... Yeah, this this would be an appropriate reaction. Especially to people who do watch sci-fi movies, which is just about everyone nowadays. An alien? Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one! <laughs> hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. <laughs> Wally, yep. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. Ah! It is Wally. Okay, stay calm. It's an alien. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. <laughs> no, I'm an alien from New Mexico. <laughs> oh no. J. 
Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. They are locked in our code at last. Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? <laughs> His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. <laughs> She's just making shit up. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus. It all makes sense it's now. Just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Natsuno, lead memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. <laughs> You need to call your home planet, right? <laughs> and then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to help you. <laughs> oh, that's just like this dumb chick. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. It's like a hologram. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. God dang government. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. Looks like a, ah. Yes. A bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. I will carry the heavy robot in my bag. <laughs> I like the music. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. No, I need to call my home planet. Then we are going to blow up the Earth. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Like this bag. <laughs> Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. It looks like it should be a lot bigger than Just the bag. Tight, okay. Okay. <laughs> Spot on the map. In the end, it turns out this is just some science project gone wrong. <sighs> or gone right. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem like we were followed. It's just a it's just a drone that some perv sent into the girls' locker room to take photographs. Uh This is it. Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial <laughs> alien activity? <laughs> oh, I like this girl. She's fun. Hmm. Get that good back shot. All right. <laughs> We're here, BJ. Anything like this? I've never seen anything like this. 
And then the aliens wiped us out. <laughs> DJ, wait up! Don't leave me behind. Really? No thoughts on any of this? Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy, even by dream standards. Okay, so now she thinks she's dreaming. We're at the shrine. Then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place. What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. Okay, anyone else notice that you can clearly see the underside of her There's cheeks <laughs> when she turns the around? Has released a statement at 5:40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. Well, shit. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. The alien name is BJ. <laughs> it's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven, no. There's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly Gee, we thought 2020 was bad. <laughs> Future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Oh. Oh shit. What? What are those? It's a kaiju. Well, they look more like machines than kaijus. Monstrous tripod higher than many houses, striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its ki carrier. A walking engine of glittering metal, striding now across the he heather? The War of the Worlds. I think I know what they are. Except they have four legs, not three. extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Oh. Okay, we might want to move.
No, I'm sure they didn't find us. We gotta get out of here. Uh, it would probably be faster to let him move by himself rather than you trying to carry the heavy machine. Updated one. Again, I don't know what any of this is. Mystery files and updated and event archives. Like, I don't know what any of that is. Anyways. Number four of the tutorial. Looks like the day after tomorrow happened a week ago. Oh! How am I doing here, Raccoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. Oh. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Did don't BG die? Bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering rams for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. <coughs> oh, super. Okay, got it. Warning. Dimal signatures approaching. Oh shit. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Miracle, I'm... I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Miracoon. They're coming at us in one straight line. <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. I've got Megatron dead center in my sights. But who stopped? What's our plan? Not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. No, I'm not throwing away my shot. <laughs> Looks like his chest is just one big gun. Yep, it is. <laughs> Long range missiles. Rail gun. Damn! Enemy unit destroyed. That was awesome! You got them all in one shot! That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that! Whoa. Destroy all kaiju. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Huh. It's the rail gun, but... That'll work best right now. Oh shit. It's too close for me to use that. What's our plan? Number 19. Commence oh, movement. What to do? There we go. Good work. 
Yeah. We got Did it. it. For a first time pilot, those were some impressive moves out there. Couldn't have done it without you, Mira Kun. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Uh oh. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? What? Oh, what? This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? They just look like construction machines. It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? Sup? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro Kun? You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Juro Kun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Okay, tutorial. Support units. The second generation model Huyu Saka pilots comes with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Oh, right. The, uh, whatever they're called. The sentry guns. What now? Okay, you don't have sentry guns. Do you do, though. Right? Place them guns! Let's see, we got the heavy knuckles, multi rocket launcher, unmounted machine cannons. What now? Okay, we'll just have you move, I guess. Have you charge? Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna have what? That is not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna have you move down a bit. Be right here, I guess. Throwing away my shot. And we can use the rail gun to get rid of most of these. Now. There we go. Yeah. Get dead. Material intercepting missiles. Certain enemies like twin tails attack from a distance using missiles. This is going to be evaded by moving or intercept with attacks. Deal with them in a way that best suits the situation. Uh oh. Try this. There we go. Use the meta gauge. There we go. What now? And let's see. Nah, gotta think. 
How far can these move? Not too far. A heavy knuckle. Can't do go too far away with that, so. Go punch it! Yeah! Not throwing away my shot. Okay, I'm gonna have you move up here. Number 19. Commence movement. What to do? Have you move as well? Get up this way. Don't need you too far ahead, though, because just in case some of them spawn near the the rest of it. Oh, there you are. What's that? Can I have you use heavy knuckle? No, not that far. Gotta think. Wait, what about the? That'll work. There we go. Sorry, just thinking. I, I enjoy these tactical games. They're they're always a lot of fun for me. Every time Mira says that, I'm gonna hear Hamilton. Great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, be away from the keyboard for a bit. If are still on, I'll keep watching. If not, all well. Had a good time. That's good. No, it's. But yeah, I'm gonna hear I'm gonna hear that all the time too, Creator Mia. Charge you have you charged. What's our plan? Jeez, those sentinels! They did our job for us! Aegis has been activated. Terminal's been closed. OP Sentinel. I can't see any more kaiju around. Is that it? Did we beat them? Looks like it. No. This is still just the beginning. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next one. That's true. The more targets they lose, the more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. Yeah. These battles are only going to get tougher. Seriously? Do we know who they are? What they are? Where they came from? Like, we haven't really gotten any explanation yet. <laughs> what do we got now? Yes. Ah! Miss Rules. Megumi. Yakushiji. Alright. Hair flip. Dramatic hair flip. <laughs> Aww, lame. Oh, hey, look who that is. Uh, Tommy. This is usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. This is not a good way to make someone you feel better. To get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. On light. Wait a minute, what? I think I'll pass. <laughs> Isn't this the 80s? Did Did I miss something? I think I, I think I missed what year this supposedly was. Like sometimes uh they show the year in the corner. I guess I missed that. Huh. my Inaba rabbit video? Mm-hmm. I never knew you were so talented. 
<laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. I hope from this weekend we get to see you stream more. Uh, I should be streaming more, uh, huh? more, more often lately. What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Look at lake. Probably just a car headlight. Or not. Hello! Did that thing just... fall from the sky? How advanced is this advanced timeline? <laughs> That's what you're... There's a giant robot here! That's what you're going to say! Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. Yes! What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? It has hands, lady. <laughs> but what then? Oh, this is wild. I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? Quick, search for phone. I like the stopping animation. Ha! You aren't the only people who would have seen this. Something's happening. Get out of there. Uh, what the? Uh, pretty sure that's the first guy we played as. Hi. Three more years! 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. It's over. It's all over. Suck it up. Um. Should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um. I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi. Oh, and this I've is come Izumi. From the future. This timeline. They're coming. Okay. Giant robot. Who cares? My hair! <laughs> Thank you, Creator Mia. Also, hi, Miku. Half a year later. 1985. Half a year later, 1985, from 2024. Okay, people. I think you need to know what half a year later means. Hello, cat. A cat? Meow, bitch. Oh, <laughs> it looks so fluffy. Is it? Come here, fluffy. Oh. Aw. Hey. Are 
Hello, nurse. You look a little lost. I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Uh, does she know what you're talking about? Twenty twenty five. I needed to see you just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. After half a year? Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, Ugh, my dad's this gone. Is goodbye? I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here. Just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. Right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji san? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna take a second, call my dad back. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Dad just calling to let me know that they're taking, uh... <laughs> that they're, uh, taking, uh, electronic stuff at the... The, uh... I was gonna call it the dump or the recycling center, but it's kind of a combination of both. But I don't really have any electronics I want to get rid of just yet. Anyway, let me see here. Ah, da, da, da. Oh, this game, they had cell phones in the 80s and has the same tone of ringtone as Paul. Incredible. Nice. I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. Why? The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. Oh. Where do I go? No, wait! <laughs> Juro! 
is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. How does that work? I'm sure he would agree. It had to be done. What? So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Is this more of this anime bullshit? Trust me. <laughs> you're doing this for him. Only by completely rewriting his identity could we save him. What kind of medical condition is that? Is that anime medical condition? Fluff. Sure, that kitty from before. I'm a cat, not a kitty. Ah! B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just talk to me. Uh. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Are you always this rude? <laughs> Love the way it um, talks. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <laughs> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. What is it with Atlas and talking cats? I mean, that's just Japan, really. They don't have enough dogs, so they rely on cats. Heathens. Anyways. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Doesn't well, it? I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange. I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Okay, so you're a devil. Got it. You really have to think about it. Come on, it'll be easy. No experience necessary. And you'll save Juro. Seems like your best option. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Daimos Code. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. The cat is the protagonist. This is no big deal, Jarby. You get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, 
I'm a cat. <laughs> you really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? <laughs> I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. I love you're this only voice. damning yourself if you refuse. Oh man. I don't know what to do. Help me chat. Help me make a decision. I can't decide things on my own. I hate multiple choice questions. Maybe because I don't know what will happen in the game. Usually about this time I look up a walkthrough, but I kind of, I, I hate that I always look up walkthroughs when playing games, because it's like, I'd like to be able to experience the game myself, but at the same time I don't have the time or patience to go through the entire game, and then have to go back and try to go through it again to get a better ending or something. Hi, Kale. Welcome to the stream. Don't think you've commented on yet. Jeez, it's already past two o'clock. How long have I been going for? Almost three hours. Huh. Coin flip? Uh huh. It's about as good an answer as anything, Ace Cage. Heads accept, tails decline. Come on, you can totally trust him. This is totally not shady at all. Oh, what? It is. Tails, decline. Okay. I guess we'll decline. If I told anyone about this, they'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry, but this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. <laughs> well, I'm off. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. He sounds so creepy, but he looks so cute. <laughs> I love it. a way to bring back Juro. Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Hmm. Okay. Episode five. <laughs> Critavia, excuse me, I'm offended, cat. Oh shit. We're low on health. Barely <laughs> censoring that boob. Judging by the big crane, oh. that one's probably a high quad. High quad. The quads on this one. What are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi. I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be. Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm going to give myself a cramp swiping that thing. Hmm. But you got to fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tony. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You going to be dumb? Or are you going to listen to your best friend? Sentinel. You 
charged out first all thumping your chest and it took you this long to get here? <laughs> the train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. The really big one. Tommy Sentinel won't be much good against it. But your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. Destroy all kaiju. Terminal destroyed. Lost condition. She's repairing her sentinel. This isn't so hard. Okay, so she's got a a long range, uh, long range one. I'll move you down here. Oh shit! So uh, move a little further out there. Long range missiles. Take that. Score. <laughs> and that word is score. Okay, I have no idea what to do with you. Guess I'll just have you hang back. They're like any other punks. Move you up here. Rush attack, which is the hammer fist. Got the leap attack, which we don't really need right now. Let's see. The rush attack does the most uh, damage, but this one, arm mounted excavator that slices through ground kaiju in front. Heavy damage ignores armor. Hmm. That actually might be really good here. So, let's do it. Damn! This is all pretty freaky. Let's do this. How did they felt that? Ah, I got rid of your missiles, dumbass. I'll just have you move back this over here. Get in another demolishing blade. Let's do this. Take it down! Yeah! yeah. Oh shit, there's more of them. Did they just get reinforcements? We've got two more threats incoming. Fine by me. I was just thinking I was running out of ass to kick. <laughs> You know, the tall lumbering one that is attacked. Oh. <laughs> she got it on her belly. I'll protect you. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. What about me? <laughs> it will be immobilized and the pilot will be ejected onto the battlefield. Will buy sentinels automatically retreat and begin repairing, but they'll be temporarily inoperable. Ah, I see. Shinji, get in the robot. Ish. <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, Evangelion. Or Shinji. Especially Shinji. But anyway, without the protection of the sentinel, any pilot on the field can easily be killed by a mere explosion. With this by moving to a safe location and perform the repair function. We will not lose. Oh. That's a new one. What actions do you have? You have the arm mounted pulse laser. Is this a flying unit? 
shield matrix. It is a flying unit. I think. And flare torpedo. Okay, then. I need to think things through. That's a flying one. It ignores all the roads and buildings and everything. Get over there. Probably move you. Just a little ways. Number 20. I need to think things through. Then layer torpedo. Take that. No point overthinking it. Did they just blow up my flare torpedo? Here comes the pain. The pain! Rush attack. Yeah. <laughs> Get bent. So, what's my next move? Did I? There's still hope. So did your missile not make it? That kind of sucks. Move you a little bit more this way. We will not lose. Then we'll Head hit him like that. Now. Yeah. Did I? They won't get past they ought to be used to fights by now. Better go around this way. Number ten, moving out. Got it, Hurry up. They're like any other punks. Two girls and their sentinels against the world. Who's criticizing you? What about the other sentinel pilots? Here comes the pain. Got him. Yeah. Did I turn this around? do the most damage it seems so all of the damage demolish a blade it did Stunner. I'll handle this. Score. There we go. I ought to be used to fights by now. Looks like the missile only caused property damage. Oh no. Dead yet? Yeah! Ah! More of them. Oh. Never mind.
Genya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. I can see the future! <laughs> Just made a noise. Made the noise again. Hey, uh, might have been my mic. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Oh, it's Amaguchi now. But I think I'm gonna stop it here for now, guys. I've got other things that need to be done. But I am definitely get, like this was just a first impressions uh, video, so I'm probably not gonna continue uh, playing this as a stream. I might. I don't know. See what. Uh... I don't know. It's been fun so far. I I enjoy it. I have no idea how else to... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this has been really good. I really, I heavily suggest this g game to those of you who are think might be thinking about playing it, because even though it's mostly story, I like the story. I think the characters are kind of fun. The gameplay is, uh, so far pretty simple, but enjoyable. I'm still in the tutorial mode. <laughs> We're still just introducing the characters. There's at least 13 of them, so... This ought to be fun! Anyways, guys. Thanks again for, uh, joining me. And you have a wonderful day.